Hello everyone, I'm Swoopo Analytics. I just wanted to show you some basic usage, some navigating around the system here. Um, how to switch between auctions, how to view information about a specific bidder, things like that. Um, I'm going to show you first how to use the navigation using Swoopo Analytics. As you can see, I've logged in to members.swoopoanalytics.com uh, and what we've got is the um, data panel, the information screen where uh, Swoopo Analytics information will show up. Um, the drag and drop box, as I call it, where you'll drag and drop links, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, and the Swoopo site down here at the bottom, just like it always is. Uh, the first and most important thing about navigating is simply how to load an auction. Um, in most web browsers, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, browsers like that, um, you can simply click and drag the auction link over into the uh, upper right hand corner box here. And what that'll do is it'll put the URL you want it to visit up in the upper right hand box and you just click change auction. Uh, and it'll load the information up at the top and it will load the auction at the bottom. Uh, the one web browser that does not allow that is Internet Explorer. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Internet Explorer here. As you can see, I'm using Internet Explorer. Um, first screen here on Swoopo Analytics. Um, what you'll need to do here is either right click and choose copy shortcut and then paste it. Um, and that'll work. Or you can go view an auction and then right here it says auction ID and then a number. You can c copy and paste th that number into the box and it will change the auction that way. So Internet Explorer simply does not allow the drag and drop functionality like the other browsers do so you need to use this the, one of these other methods of getting the information up there. Um, okay so now back to my Firefox uh, view of things. Um, real quick overview of the interface we've got um, latest bidders which is information shown here by Swoopo but way more details. Um, quick note about the red the darker the red the more auctions that person has won in the past and therefore should probably be considered more of a threat you see some of these people have won 50 60 auctions some of these have won zero and therefore are probably pretty amateur um, players um, top bidders by number of bids similar view except it's ordered by the number of bids they place so you can see this 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 player has um, placed 218 that's the most of anyone on the auction um, item close prices are the historical closing prices of this same product. So this for this bar of gold in the past it's closed from $134 to $20 to $312. Um, you can see a lot, a lot of history here. Um, you can also see the date that it closed. Um, and then you know the number of bidders that it took to get to that point. You gener a general correlation, the lower the number of bidders, the lower the price. So that's another thing you can take into account when you're looking at this information. Um, auction bid, bid timeline, this is the same information they've got here with a few extra pieces of information such as how long ago that bid was, um, but you get a much larger view of the history than just the last 10. You can see a whole lot more than that. Uh, and then auction stats are basic, basic stats about what's going on in the auction. Um, you can see there's 95 bidders, the current price, uh, when, it, when it started, and how long it's been running. Now this, this number of bidders currently 95 this is the kind of number that you might use to correlate to what the price will end up at based on the historical closing prices of this item which I was alluding to earlier um, so um, it's obviously not something you can draw a direct correlation to but if you can find an auction that's nearing close with a low number of bidders then you might be able to swoop in and get that for uh, just a few number of bids um, on these screens when you hover over um, a use a bidder's name uh, generally a box will pop up with a lot more information about that bidder um, stats just basic stats how many how many auctions they've bid on um, how many times they've won what auctions they're currently bidding on you can see this user's bid on two within the last 23 minutes and so they're probably active on both probably not paying very close attention to either um, the bidders that don't concentrate on a particular auction sometimes let them slip through their hands so you know they may not be um, the greatest player. Um, past wins this particular user has not won any and past losses also not lost any must be a brand new user. Um, 
you can see for this user we've tracked almost um, 67,000 bids that this person has placed and won 54 items. This is a professional. I would avoid any auction with this person in it. You can see that um, he or she is looking at several. Um, this particular laptop he's already got 2,000 bids in on. You can see that he's won quite a few things in the past. Appear to be Apple products. Uh, my guess is that this guy is um, taking these and reselling them on eBay or something like that, so he's definitely professional and, and avoid him. And similar information, <clears throat> except about their past losses. Uh, so this is a quick quick overview about how to navigate around Swoopo Analytics. Um, stay tuned for more helpful videos.